What's up, you? Llamas, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 241 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. If there's anything you'd like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll kick it off now. 241. All right, testing a new mic yet again today. You know the routine. Let me know how you think it sounds. So first we have Oxygenics with a Scandinavian inspired setup. And as you can see, tons and tons of green all around next to the setup on both sides, bunch of natural ambient lighting. And he said it's to kind of go for like the Scandinavian theme. So I think altogether, this nails those Northern vibes. For the gear, you can see that massive display that is a Philips Brilliance 49 inch monitor. And underneath it, he does have a secondary display, which is his Gaumann drawing tablet. Uh, the exact model is the PD156 Pro, so it's not like a second monitor, you know, per se, uh, but it still helps him get that extra screen real estate and also to use for productivity. And speaking of which, this is not a quote gaming setup. This is all powered off of his 2020 16 inch MacBook Pro. So for his line of work, when it comes to productivity, that's going to help him get the job done. Along with the Logitech MX Keys wireless keyboard and the MX Master 3 mouse on the SteelSeries Quick Prism mouse pad. Then for audio on his desktop, his Logitech Z533 speakers, got a Blue Yeti microphone, and up tucked away on the shelf are his headphones, which are the Neurophones. Haven't heard of them before, but I checked them out and they look pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. Now at nighttime, this setup completely transforms from, you know, the clean and earthy vibes to all the RGB. So that's where, you know, the more gamer vibes come in here but still visually makes for a really cool looking setup altogether. So Oxygenics, really, really digging this one. Um, I've seen a lot of, you know, greenery when it comes to setups, but this one's definitely up there. Now we've got Duarte with a really nice triple monitor setup, looking nice and organized as well with the uh, floating appearance there, having to mount it to the wall. Really nice job on that. So for those three displays, the primary is a 24 inch from BenQ and the two outer monitors are 24 inch ones from HP. I say it a lot, but I always appreciate a nice complimentary wallpaper, especially one that's spanned across all three like this instead of people who just clone one single monitor. So a really good job here. Spanning that looks great with everything combined. Taking a look down to the peripherals, we have the Razer Black Widow Chroma Keyboard with a Corsair Harpoon wireless mouse. Got the Bose Quiet Comfort headphones there peeking off to the right. And his speakers on each side are very interesting. They're the Harman Kardon Aura Studio 2. I really like the design of them. I've never tested them or heard them myself, but they look killer, especially with them being see through. Kind of, you know, lets the RGB behind it shine through even more. Then, tucked away under the desk is the NZXT H440 case. Definitely a classic with an AMD Ryzen 3700X CPU and the Corsair H60 cooler. Got 32 gigs of HyperX Fury RAM on an ASUS Prime Z390P motherboard and a Gigabyte GTX 970. Now, I will say uh, you might want to move that PC out a bit because the exhaust from your AIO is slamming right up against that backboard probably a bit toasty and then a quick shot of the opposite side of the room and I gotta say I'm liking the hanging Edison bulbs around the bed the underglow there there's a joke to be made about the cat and the other term for one uh, I'm just not gonna go there all right Duarte I'm seeing you you're keeping the room nice and cozy the pinks and purples and oranges and the wallpaper matching the RGB light and uh, I like how everything else is like white and wooden so good accents really good tones all around now we've got iTechnique and I apologize in advance our man submitted photos in a 4 by 3 ratio like it's 2007 so if any of them are cropped oddly uh, that would be why but either way he's still got a killer setup so as you can see, there's a lot going on. There's five total displays here, and it's all powered off of one PC. So he has sort of two separate setups that all is conjoined as one. So for his primary setup, we'll call it, he has three MSI monitors that are 24 inches, 144 hertz a piece, with a massive 58-inch 4K Hisense TV mounted as the overhead. Then on the right side, a 27-inch 144Hz monitor from Dell with a 43-inch 4K Fire TV as the main display. So that Dell is the overhead. All right, into some gear and hardware for his primary setup again for his keyboard is a custom Linworks Dollinger with GMK Noel. 
and the Logitech G Pro mouse in their special limited yellow colorway. Um, also, he has the Roku surround sound system, which today I learned Roku makes audio stuff. And then for the side setup, an NK65 from Novel Keys in the watermelon colorway, and seemingly no mouse over here. Then over to the PC, we have a nice Snowblind build from iBuyPower. It's one of their popular uh, pre built with that screen pretty much with the side panel. Inside an Intel i5 9600K CPU, got their own cooler, 16 gigs of a data RGB RAM, and a Gigabyte RTX 2070 for the graphics card. But I really like the all white interior here, it looks real nice and clean. And then a shot behind the setup, you know, a place to chill or relax. You saw the PS5 next to his PC, so I assume he could sit back here, chill for a bit, get some console gaming done on that massive TV that's mounted above the setup. So whether it is PC gaming, console gaming, six total displays, he's got it all. Tons of RGB, LifeX tile panels, Nanoleaf Aurora panels as well. All the RGB, all the gear for my technique. Man, oh man, now we've got Marijan. Hope I said that right. And he's got this crazy satisfying looking triple monitor setup that is just great in terms of symmetry. The art behind it with those sound absorption looks like those um, like wooden panels. Definitely looks more classy with the wooden blocks. But man, lots of good stuff here. So getting into the monitors, his primary is an Asus Tough. It's 27 inches, 144 to 165 hertz if overclocked, 1440p. And then the left and right monitor are each a Dell 27 inch ultra sharp. On each side, he has some lights as well as you can see for streaming and stuff, like the Elgato, what is that, the key light and the key light air mounted there. Then for his main peripherals, we have a Logitech MX Keys keyboard yet again with Logitech MX Master Mouse, the Elgato Stream Deck. And then for audio, we have a Rode NT-USB microphone, some Wavemaster 2 Pro speakers in white, and the Bose QuietComfort 35 Series 2 wireless headphones. Over to the PC inside the NZXT H500, we have an Intel i9-9900K CPU with a Be Quiet Silent Wings 3 for the air cooler with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, an Asus ROG Strix Z390E gaming motherboard and NVIDIA RTX 2080 Palette Super Jetstream graphics card. Man, lots of good gear all around here for this setup, and I like in the daytime what it is, you know, more so monotone, lots of black and white going on, the nice wooden desk really pops, but then, like you saw before, with the nighttime, all the RGB glowing, different wallpapers, it just comes to life for this crazy gaming and streaming setup that I think is just looking killer, so great job bringing this all together, but still making it look really nice and organized at the same time. Like I said in the beginning, symmetry here, that is pretty much everything when it comes to making a really pleasing looking setup for visuals. And then lastly, we've got Aki from the Philippines coming in, giving a more simplified vibe. I like the small form factor PC there, a nice condensed space, but you can tell this when he gets down here, it's business, you know what I'm saying? So for his display, it is an AOC 24 inch at 144 hertz with a 32 inch Sony Bravia TV as the overhead there. And then as for his peripherals, he has the Skylung GK68XS keyboard and inside he has glorious panda switches. Not too sure on the keycap set, but I like the custom coil braided cable there matching it. Nice walnut wrist rest. And then for the mouse, the Logitech G304. For some audio gear, he has the Altec Lansing Octane 7 speakers with the Sony WH-CH710N headphones, always convenient to say. And then over to that nice looking PC, it's the Sliger SM560 case inside the Ryzen 5 3600 CPU with an Alpenphone Black Ridge cooler. Got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM, a Gigabyte Aorus B550i Pro motherboard, and a Gigabyte RTX 2060 Windforce OC GPU. Nice and compact, just how I like them. Not what she said. But all right, Aki, I can tell you you're you have a fine eye for when it comes to you know design and stuff. Because even though it's a very you know simplified minimal setup, the way it's all laid out and put together, uh, you can tell a lot of thought was put into it. It's all done really really nicely, and you're doing a lot with a more compact space. So I'm a big fan of what you did here. 
This episode is sponsored by the Corsair HS70 Bluetooth headset. If you're looking for a wireless gaming headset under $100, that works for it all. Mac, PC, Xbox, PS5, your Switch, your phone, your mom, anything, they got you covered with the HS70 Bluetooth. It's got great sounding custom tuned 50 millimeter neodymium drivers, a fully detachable noise canceling unidirectional microphone and stellar build quality. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link for you in the description down below. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 241 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, so anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below. So you can check out all the gear and hardware, plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you want to be considered being a future episode of Room Tour Project, just check down below for it all. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.